The coalition claims that you will never be prime minister because you've got a big head. But it helps, in my opinion, create productivity. Oh, no, sorry, they're not talking about your ego, they're talking about your massively bulbous cranium. There are no medical experts who support their proposition. Well, maybe that's true, but Tony Abbott did draw this picture of you. That, to me, is an exact illustration. Right, so you do agree that it's big? Yes. Compared to how big it used to be, where is it at now? At a 13-year high. Does it ever get stuck in doorways? Of course it does. And how many days has it been since you've been able to wear a hat? It's been 455 days. That's very sad. Now, Bill, I understand that you and ex-Prime Minister Julia Gillard never saw eye to eye. That's true. And I believe you didn't get along because you have a problem with... Ginger people. Ginger people. I was going to say her policies. Why would you say that? People are keen to know who I am and what I stand for. Well, if that's true, then let's go over a recent policy that you yourself have proposed. Now, these are... Some simple ideas for the government to address. Bill, this is a fundraising scheme which allows Australians to trade in their tattoos for breast implants. Yes. And what do you call it? Tit for tat. It's about the equal treatment of women. Is it now? If you treat women equally in our society, you will get a productivity surge. Is this about a surge in productivity or is this really about a surge in your pants? We've got to go for growth. Okay, that's disgusting. 